friends, today we're learning all about letter F. I'm Chef Danielle and this is Gabby. Gabby, are you going to be my helper today? Yes. Perfect. So we are going to do something with the letter F and we are going to make focaccia bread. So it's an Italian bread. Are you excited? Yeah. I love bread. Yeah. So we are going to mix it. So first we're going to start off, look at them, we've got flour and then we've got some milk and yeast, water, salt, and oil, olive oil. But the first thing we need to do, can I have you help me by putting this yeast in our warm milk? So pour it in. And then can you put this warm water in there as well? It's bubble. It's going to bubble a little. So why don't we take this and we have to stir it very gently. Very gently. Yes, good job. Can I do it a little too? Let's do it together. Okay. You can make it fast. Huh? You can make it fast. No, no, we don't do it fast so we don't get it everywhere, right? And then. Wait, not yet. So here, we're just gonna stir this up and then I'm gonna put it in the corner. Hold on, thank you. So I'm gonna let this bloom. We're gonna let our yeast kind of activate. So this is what is gonna help our bread rise. So we're gonna put that over there. Wow, okay, so now we're gonna bring our flour over. Can we add some salt? And yeah. Okay. Perfect. Great. So can you mix it up? Oh! And she needs some more flour. No, that's enough. We just gotta be careful, there we go. So we mix the flour and see, look, look, touch the flour. We use our different senses when we cook, right? We get to touch things. Oh, it's soft, right? Look, it's so tickly. <laughs> tickly. <laughs> okay, okay. And now we clap our hands like this so we get all the excess in there. Great. So Perfect. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna let that sit, our, our milk sit there for about 10 minutes, right? And then once it's ready, we get to pour it in. And we're gonna add our oil too. So hold on, let's just put our oil over here and then we'll come back to it. Alrighty, so our milk and yeast mixture is ready, so hold on. Oh, I'm gonna put in the milk first. Ooh, the yeast. And now you can put the oil in. Perfect, and I'll take this. We'll put that over there. And then I use my mix. No, 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 we don't use a whisk for this. We're gonna use um, uh, a spatula. Okay, so careful, careful, careful. There we go. Now you can use this in a, um, a stand mixer and then we use the, the dough or the, the paddle or the dough attachment. So if you put this in the stand mixer, you have a dough hook that will actually make the dough nice and soft. But we're doing everything by hand today, right? That's good. See, and we have to do it very slowly so we don't get all the liquid all over, right? We want to keep everything inside the bowl. Get to use, we're using all of our senses. We get to see how it feels and how it looks. And of course, the tasting part will leave until the very end, right? Good job. We want to make sure that all of the wet ingredients, all of the milk and the water, all that's absorbed by our flour. We don't want to have any dry spots with our flour, right? Oh, hold on. Okay, I'm going to finish mixing this and then I'm going to give you a little ball of dough to work with, okay? <laughs> now that our dough is coming together, wow, look at our dough, Gabby. I'm going to give you a big piece. I get a big piece, Gabby gets a big piece, okay? Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's a big piece. <gasps> wow. So we've got to knead our dough for a few minutes. And Gabby, we can do this also with our fingers. F is for fingers, right? So we take our fingers and we get to move it around. Yeah, because we just want to make sure all <laughs> Are you gonna feel with your fingers? Feel it? What does it feel like, Gabby? Shiny. It is sticky. sticky. Yeah, it's a little sticky, right? 
So this is perfect. Our dough is gonna come together nice and smooth. And then we have to let it sit for a while so the gluten can rest, so this can rest, and then it's gonna rise up. It's gonna puff up, okay? And so, then we can eat it. Well, we gotta bake it first. We're gonna roll it out and we're gonna bake it. So I'm gonna put this nice little ball of dough, our focaccia dough, into an oiled bowl. So the bowl, so that, wait, wait, so that the, um, I'm gonna put this into an oil bowl so this does not stick to our bowl. And then when it comes time to uh, roll it out and we let it rise again, it'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna cover this with some plastic wrap and then we'll come back when it's gotten bigger. Okay? <laughs> All righty, look at our dough. It had like doubled in size. It's so much bigger. Yeah? So now is the perfect time to use our fingers and we get to roll out our dough. And then we've got to let it rise one more time before we put it in the oven. So you've got your dough. And I'm gonna take this one. Editor's notes, you can cut here. I'm putting this down. <laughs> Alrighty, so look, here's our dough. Oh, <laughs> not the elbow. Here, let's use, you gotta use the rolling pin to do that. Right, good job. And now I'm gonna roll out my dough. Woo. I'm gonna roll it out to about the size of our pan so that we can put it in our pan and then we're gonna let it rise one more time, okay? <laughs> See, and it's always fun to feel the dough, huh? Can you feel it with your fingers? And squishy, squishy, squish. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I like, I like the other one. That you like that one? Okay, perfect timing. So then I'll put it in here, just like that. See, look, we rolled out our dough and we put it into our pan, and now we're gonna let it rise one more time. Okay. Sounds good? So Gabby, you're still playing with your little ball of dough I gave you, aren't you? Yeah, you like it? It looks like a little hot dog in there. I'm telling you, the kids love the dough. Even if you just make dough for them with just flour, water, and uh, a little salt, or just flour and water, they can play with it all day. Um, so it's great for sensory, don't be afraid to do so. Okay. What is great for the sensory? Because we love how it feels. And you love to play with it, right? Good job. So look, Gabby, our, our dough is ready to go in the oven almost. And we need to, for our focaccia, the last part is we get to use our fingers to kind of make these fun holes in it. Can you do like this? Yeah. There we go. No, not with your nails, like that. Here, go like this. There we go, and we spread them apart. Yeah, that looks great. And then we kind of put nice little holes, not all the way through, but we do that. Would you like to help me um, do the oil on top with our special brush? Yeah. Okay, so I want you to dip a little in the brush. The brush, um, yeah, put a little of the olive oil. And then I want you to, yeah, Go ahead and paint the dough. Okay, I was gonna paint the dough. Yeah, just like that. There we go. Good job. How fun is that? You wanna get back to your dough? Okay, <laughs> so I'll finish this part. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that cool, Gabby? Focaccia, you're making your focaccia over there? Perfect. Alrighty. And then the last thing, Gabby, we need for our focaccia is a little bit of salt. We like to use a nice flaked sea salt. So I'm gonna sprinkle. Do you wanna help me sprinkle with this or am I gonna do all this? I'm gonna sprinkle. Here, take a little from, the, from there. And we always sprinkle from a high so it doesn't get clumped, so we don't get clumps of salt. 
There we go. And then of course you can add other things like tomatoes or you can add, what else can we add on here? Tomatoes and rosemary um, and different herbs. And then we pop it in the oven. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven, Gabby. Alrighty, look at our focaccia bread. Isn't it great? We've let it cool down and now we get to try it. Wait, 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 wait. So here, I'm gonna tear off a piece for Gabby. Ooh, ooh, how does it taste? Is it yummy? Yum, yum. It's really yummy? Yes, there's nothing like homemade bread. Mmm, mmm. Joining us for letter F, making our focaccia. Join us next week for the letter G.